Amazing. Why do you need this sort of thing? Are you running like five companies at the same time from the comfort of your home? They are never gonna run out of shoes. Why are there shoes on it? Here we have the best setup ever. You know why this is the best setup? Let's take a quick look at the newest desktop showcase submissions from the Discord server that you submitted. If you're not on the Discord, why? Why aren't you on the Discord? The link is in the description, it's in the link tree, it's on the channel banner. Check it out, join, select the role and submit your desktop. It's as easy as one, two, three. All right, so first off, we have the bad side of my setup. Now, I don't know if I should click on the spoiler, but since I know what it actually is, it's cable management. Everyone's favorite thing to do when it comes to a desktop setup, cable management. This is the other part of the cable management. Yeah, it's basically hacking setup, the outtakes. We have a huge submission from Royal Foxy. They sent in a huge text. So first off the stack, the, the specs. Hardware, it's a Ryzen 7 1800 cooled by water, a GTX 1080, 32 gigs of RAM, an M.2 SSD, another SSD and the HDD. They are never gonna run out of space, at least for the time being. We have the peripherals, which is the dark core. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. If you want to know this all in detail, I will check out the Discord server. The link is in the description. What I gathered here is they have a desktop PC, a big laptop and a small laptop, which they use for work and school and code and tech stuff on it. Now let's take a look at the setup, right? We have this dual monitor setup. We have some little foxes over here. I mean, they're called Royal Foxy, so it makes sense, right? What else is going on here? We have one keyboard, two keyboard, a mouse, a headset, another headset. As with all real engineers, they have a messy desk. This is the other part and the real engineering continues with the messy desk setup with shoes. Why are there shoes on it? I'm confused. I don't even have shoes on my desk and my desk is a mess. But there is their laptop. The next one is, I'm guessing, I'm confused. What's this? Is this the smaller laptop or the bigger laptop? I mean, we had the, we had a laptop and this looks like it's supposed to be a laptop, but for some reason it's missing like half the screen. Why is it missing half the screen? Never mind, it's Ubuntu. So let's take a look at the description. Which one was the one with Ubuntu? Oh, it's Windows with Ubuntu, right? Okay, so I'm guessing this is <laughs> Ubuntu Ubu. Amazing. Why not Ubuntu? Do you know about Ubuntu? Let me know in the chat if you know about Ubuntu. We have a VR gaming headset, some nice fancy T-moxing going on as far as I can tell from the view. We have three over here to look like a real hacker, possibly Vim over here. I'm just getting this from the colons. We have icons in the shell. Wow, now that's amazing. Oh my posh.dev looks pretty nice and clean, even though it has like a ton of stuff on it. I got these icons, etc. It looks really clean. They must have spent ages doing this. And here we have Windows 11. Of course, the most important thing for every hacking setup, the Discord server in the background. Binary Rookie has, I think one of the bigger laptops or bigger PC with 125 gigs of RAM. Just trust me, I can barely see it. You may barely see it. Why you would need that, I have no idea. A Ryzen Threadripper with, are this the cores? I don't think those are the cores, right? Are this the cores? Does the Ryzen have over 48 cores? What a beast. And then of course we have the disks, which is the root one has half a tera. The games partition has one terabyte. The ISOs partition has 250 gigs. The VM partition has a terabyte. The VM SSD partition has another terabyte. This is a huge machine. 
but it looks like it's some kind of server here we have rdp let's see what binary cookie is talking about my little behemoth threat ripper 128 gigs of ram total storage about 30 gigs and the 30 gigs 30 terabyte not gigs and there are two and a half terabyte in nvm and four terabyte in ssd and the rest is hdd amazing why do you need this sort of thing are you running like five companies at the same time from the comfort of your home let me know, I need to know. Now, INEE is the learning platform from eLearn Security themselves, and they provide a ton of courses like cybersecurity courses, coding courses, cloud courses, everything that you want to learn about computer science, you can do this on their platform. As soon as you sign up for one of their premium plans, you even get a 50% discount on your next exam voucher. So head over to the link that you're seeing popping up over here on screen and sign up for an INEE premium subscription today so you can learn about hacking and get certified. The best setup from deleted user 3FFEFCOE. -E. I'm never gonna repeat that name again. Here we have the best setup ever. You know why this is the best setup? A, it's portable. You have a laptop over here. You can game with it wherever you go. You can hack with it wherever you go. And B, it's on the toilet. So you have, you never have to actually leave the place if you have some kind of current coming in. Now, Royal Foxy has a small update, a little Windows rise. Okay, this looks actually pretty cool for a Windows machine. I'm just used to this overall design look style from Linux Rising, so it doesn't look that amazing and new and fantastic on the first look. But if you know that this is on Windows, how can this be on Windows? What? How? Let us know on the Discord or in the chat. And they even got a new PC. Amazing. What's this? We have RGB galore everywhere. It looks kind of empty. Isn't it missing some form of GPU? Maybe? It's a GTX. Where is the GTX 1080? I can't seem to find it. They provided a video. Ooh, that's a nice boot up screen. And now the RGB is kicking in with a water cooled CPU. Amazing. It looks pretty nice. I I I gotta say I it looks it looks nice. It has a bit too much RGB going on. I mean I'm a fan of RGB if you like select a color scheme or something like that. Amazing if the color scheme isn't unicorn puke. Here's my full setup includes home lab. Okay, this is a ton of stuff. I don't know, you have two Dell PowerEdge or servers running Debian, used for virtualization websites, one Windows server for game servers with an i7, 60 gigs of RAM. Is that enough for your server? And no GPU for a game server or is the game server only providing like the TCP layer and nothing with image things? I have no idea about gaming servers, I've never set up one. A switch, an Enforce VPS running a load balancer. Isn't a VPS a virtual private server? Where are you running it? Why are you running? <laughs> One TP-Link access point, a Windows PC that you use at home with a tad bit outdated graphics card, if I can be honest with you. So you forgot to mention that your Windows server actually has a Radeon 7770 GPU. That's what I thought. I thought it was missing something. A Lenovo idea pad used for school, etc. Is everybody going to school in here? <laughs> Is everybody one of my students? Let's actually try to take a look at your setup. It's a bit dark. I guess those are your two blade servers without a rack. As you said, you can't really afford it. This is the access point. Then this, it feels like a game. Try to find out what the hell I'm looking at. Maybe next time use night mode on your camera. Turn on the light or use a flash because I can't seem to see what this is. It feels like it's your Windows gaming server because of this thing. That's probably the old GPU, but I'm not too sure. 
Now the next, the next riddle. What is this? So let me try lighting it up. It doesn't seem to be working like that. The PC with the glass panel is my rig. Dark black box is my Windows server. So this is the Windows server. This is your gaming rig. Okay. Now we see some immaculate cable management. A 69 out of 10, but it's kind of missing the light so we can enjoy it in full glory. RSA, I think you learned your lesson. Next time you'll turn up the light. These are, I guess, three VMs that you're using, or is that the server? No, I no, those are the servers, right? Now, what's the rating? Both setups, to be honest. Well, I mean, this is my favorite because it's, you know, it has everything you need for a hacking setup. You can do war driving with it. You can do war shitting with it. You can do whatever you like with it. You don't even have to stand up from the toilet and hack the government. Imagine you see a headline, script kitty hacks the government. Then they show the setup of that said script kitty. And it's this Royal Foxy as well as Halo. You both have like really overpowered setups, which I mean, it's good for hacking. If you're just starting out, you don't need all that stuff, but it's cool and you can practice a lot of cybersecurity skills as well as infrastructure and app development skills. My overall verdict is nice job. If you enjoyed this hacking setup video, make sure to check out my other hacking setup videos over here. Bye bye.